everybody it's me andrew get out into nature and tune in for yourself resonate with the earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz the universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and to get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity sending me some love to telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so um today I wanted to talk about reconciling the opposites and uh doing that through yoga right uh, so let's get into this so reconciling the opposites or or, or unionizing the opposites um, is something that happens naturally right uh, because we're polarized energetically by the feminine and masculine energy so um, we have both energies within our system right uh the two hemispheres of the brain grow in accordance of masculine and feminine energy right so the left hemisphere of the brain is masculinity and the right hemisphere of the brain is femininity because they do they do uh polar opposite things or they uh they function on polar opposites right so uh because that is the way it is, there's uh, two wavelengths of energy, right? Um, but the, they're unified, you know, by the corpus callosum, the bridging of the two hemispheres, which is uh, the unionization. So you can you can unit you can come into uh, unity right uh you unify the energies you can do this through yoga right yoga is union that's what it means in sanskrit so it's a it's a process of of union uh, on whatever level it's just union you know uh microcosmic to macrocosmic if you're unifying geometrically you're in a process of yoga or you're in yoga um, doesn't matter how you really do it there's many different forms and 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 you can get into all this but uh if you're you if you're coming into union geometrically with the universe you're in a state of yoga right so um to reconcile the opposites or to unionize the opposites um, you just have to center yourself you balance yourself right um, <clears throat> you can do this by connecting yourself with the earth the moment you begin grounding that circuit is closed so it flows the electromagnetic energy is able to flow more properly See, the, the, the way that the architecture is popularized these days is uh, unconducive for the balance or the flow of our electromagnetic energy. So most of the geometry of, of the architecture of the homes that we're building uh, in the majority is... It's just like throwing us off balance and it's not actually uh, helping us in, in, a, in the way that we need to be electromagnetically um, fluctuating. More so, their work, it's working against you, you know, uh, and this is, this is obviously deliberacy, you know, because uh, everything has been given to us. So... We don't, uh, I mean, a lot of people don't really know, for one, so there's no reason to question it. 
but um, all the designings were given to us, right? So there's a reason that these designs were given to us. Um, and, and, and there's a reason that everything is working against the health of the electromagnetic field, right? Um, so like there's improper grounding for the most part. Uh, things like shoes, you know, most shoes have rubber soles, you know, or they have rubber bottoms. There's chakras on the bottom of our feet where electromagnetic energy is emanating from. And uh, <clears throat> we're supposed to connect to the earth through those chakras at the bottom of the soul. But the fact that there's rubber at the bottom of almost every shoe, almost every shoe um, that, that a lot of people are using, this throws people off of their grounding to begin with, you know? Uh, and then that immediately uh, sends you into an overly positive charge, which can make you sick, you know, uh, which is why people fall into um, overthinking, things like this, because the positive energy is uh, correspondent with the mind and thought, right? So um, they can definitely send you into, into like um, a disresonance through that whole little system. Um, so you definitely got to make the effort for yourself to be, to be able to, um, to be able to escape that or, or like keep yourself away from that because uh, it definitely makes a difference if you're able to do that for yourself, right? Um, but it's not only shoes, there's a lot of things. It goes, it goes, like just down to, to uh, the basic geometry of, of your house, right? And the way things are structured, they're structured wrong, um, or not wrong, but this they're meant to be disresonant. Uh, caps, things like this can uh, block up your fontanelle, you know? So um, metal, certain metals, <laughs> You know, certain metals are um, are kind of disresonating your electromagnetic field, and and they use these metals all throughout your house, right? Um, so, well, these are just a few examples, right? You can find plenty if you're just able to uh, poke into things and, and kind of look at things, you know, like really look at things rather than just uh, overlooking things. Right, because a lot of people are overlooking everything, uh, which I do, you know. But uh, de definitely developing the the actual to actually look at something and see how it's affecting me, right? So, so the way society is right now is kind of just disresonant. Um, it's mechanizing, you know, and it's kind of just throwing off off balance, uh, disharmonious living right so if you're able to reconcile the opposites for yourself you can kind of you can kind of um come back into that health into that harmony which is going to bring you out of that disease that you don't actually know is there because you become numb to it the more that you live within it right um so, so this is this is one thing as well that they're doing uh, in in majority or in mass. They're having people um, overstimulated, over over uh, overloaded with information, and and and, and um, mental disease starts developing in that person, and uh, they become numb to it. Right? They don't actually know that it's there because uh, society kind of comes out with conditions to keep it the normacy, right? So people don't actually uh, question it any deeper, but they just kind of go, on, go, on, go along with it, you know? Uh, but it's definitely there, 
And if you just go a little deeper into the subconscious, you can kind of uh, unveil it, you know? And then if you keep going deeper into the subconscious, you can really understand why it's there. Uh, but you can't really go into the subconscious unless you have uh, methods to be able to do that, right? The easiest is meditation. Maybe uh, enter lucid dreaming, hypnagogic states. You can most definitely break into the subconscious and, and really see things for how they are beyond the veil. You know, 5% um, <clears throat> of the waking reality, 5% of, of your experience is the waking reality, right? And, and the other 95 is subconscious. So uh, <clears throat> when you begin reconciling the opposites, entering or entrancing or, or entrance into the subconscious, mind is inevitable. It happens of itself, <laughs> you know? So uh, balance yourself. Balancing yourself is how you do this, you know? You can place your two palms together as well. Um, namaskar, namaskar, you know, and that's reconciling the opposites as well because one hand is a masculine energy, the other is feminine, right? So when you place them together, the two energies are conjoining and, and you're coming into a union through just the simple uh, posture or the simple gesture, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? So uh, there's many different ways to be able to do it, right? And it's kind of a natural process as well. It happens of itself. But uh, this, the, way that the way that the whole system is designed right now is disharmonious. So if you're not making the effort to balance yourself out, you're going to most definitely fall into imbalance and disease. And then eventually you become numb to that disease if you let it sit and eventually uh, you start to kind of like devolve, you know? So you definitely got to make the effort to, to, to revolve, you know, or, or evolve, make it more conscious and revolve. Um, and loop in that, right? So you can develop, which is necessary because you don't want to fall into uh, undevelopment, which is what humanity is in. It's in an undeveloped state. Uh, it's slowly being developed. It's in maintenance. <laughs> humanity is in maintenance right now. Um, we were like, uh, let me see. <laughs> We're, we're definitely, we're definitely entertainment, you know, um, and right now we're just in maintenance, under maintenance. There's no connection, no Wi-Fi connection, right? So we're falling. Uh, our connection to nature is the Wi-Fi connection, not the Skynet, right? Wi-Fi, not, wi not actual Wi-Fi, but nature. It's the connection, is the Wi-Fi, is the actual Wi-Fi connection. Because through nature, we can connect with source. Uh, through Wi-Fi, we're just connecting to a, a pseudo source, right? The internet, which uh, we can travel the DNA. We can open up the DNA and travel the universe, the biological internet, much easier, much more inherent. And uh, not only that, but there's much more on that network, the biological network. Whereas the internet just gives us like less than 1% of what the biological network can give us, right? So, uh, so reconcile the opposites. And all that happens, the DNA starts opening up. 
you can uh, go deeper into the subconscious, which is 95% of your experience, right? So if it's 95%, you definitely need to <laughs> go into the subconscious. Otherwise, you're, you're missing out on 95% of, of life or 95% of, of experience, right? Because waking reality is only 5%, which is right now conscious reality. Conscious waking reality is only 5%. The subconscious is all 95 uh, so when you kind of when you reconcile the opposites and and the brain starts working on a balanced level if you're able to to get it there you can easily go deeper into the subconscious and that 95 percent can be accessed you can use more of the brain's abilities or functions right they're saying or they said that uh 10 percent were using I don't really believe this. It's probably a little bit more or maybe even less. I don't really know, you know, <laughs> but uh, if you're able to balance, if you're able to conjoin the energy, the, the, the two energies within yourself and balance yourself out, center yourself, then you're able to also uh, amplify the amount of brain usage or you you can literally bring up they're what they're saying is 10% to more, you know, which is also synonymous with going deeper into the subconscious 95% of the experience, right? If you're using 100% of the brain, uh, <clears throat> you would definitely be able to go into the depths of the cosmos through the subconscious and the unconscious, right? Uh, so so reconcile the opposites very easy you do it through yoga just through it through <laughs> the most easiest yoga is uh is just observing or or even uh let me see being present in experience right so you're going through the experience, be as present as you can, bring in presence, because uh, that opens up a lot to begin with. And then you can, uh, you can unify through that, All right? So let me see. Find reception, become more receptive to nature. You need more reception. Otherwise, you can't get a saturated picture or saturated experience, right? By this, I mean, uh, if you don't have reception, you cannot connect with the other person you know like on my phone if I don't if I lack the reception I can't really uh, use the service or not only that but I can't connect with people if you're losing reception to life you can't connect with with a deeper experience which is what you want you want a very deep experience of life because you don't want it to go generic you don't want it to go uh cloned right which there are clones you don't want to be a clone because clones are uh <laughs> they're, they're here to work or clones are here to 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 feed another right like like the cloned bananas um they've been using them for for decades and they're not good <laughs> they're not good at all they're they're terrible. Um, <laughs> the, the bananas that have been cloned <laughs> are terrible. Uh, let me see. Not only that, but but I'm pretty sure they're about to die away, right? So so the the cloned bananas are most definitely most definitely terrible. <laughs>
that's gonna be it for today's video i do thank everybody for watching once again peace out more love have a great evening